welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss how to create no internet view error view and empty view suppose a user is trying to send a request and while processing the request certain error occurs at that time we need to display a error view suppose a user is trying to send a request and the internet connection is not available at that time we need to display a no internet view Similarly, when a user is trying to visit a page such as cart page and the user has not added anything to the cart, then we need to display a empty cart page. How to create this UI that portion will I will discuss today. Let me show you the output first. As you can see, this is the no internet page or no internet view. Here a image is there. Network error is the title. Connect with internet is the description and there is a button having the text as retry. Now this button is optional. This means if you want, you can hide the button and if you want, you can show the button. How to create this UI? Let me discuss. Here in the global widget, you can see I have created a file empty failure no internet view. And this is nothing but a class which is extending the stateless widget. In the constructor here, here I have taken image, title, description what will be the text of the button, what will happen when the button will be clicked for that we have this on pressed and with this is button visible we can hide or show the button. Now in the build method I have taken a container I have given a margin of 16 from left and right then there is a center widget in the center widget I have taken a single child scroll view and in the child I have taken a column widget in the column widget I have taken a container and in the container as a child I have taken this lottie.asset. Now to use this lottie here in the pubspec.yml file I have taken the lottie plugin. Let me show you this lottie plugin I have taken correct and lottie.asset after that I am passing what image I want to display and what will be the width and height of the image. After that there is a sized box with height 25 then there is a text where I am displaying the title and I have given this a style again I have used a sized box then there is a text which will display the description again there is a sized box after that I have taken the off stage widget and here in the off stage I have passed is button visible then false else true so depending on this is button visible value the rounded elevated button rounded elevated button will be visible or invisible now this rounded elevated button is nothing but a custom widget which i have created in this global widget you can see i have created this file rounded elevated button let me click here and this is created here again this is a stateless widget this is the constructor where i have passed the width of the button what will happen when the button will be pressed and what will be the text of the button fine then uh, you can see in the build I have taken a constraint box in the constraint I have specified the width then in the child I have taken an elevated button in on pressed I have passed this on pressed fine and after that in the style I have used this elevated button dot style from then I have given the border there is nothing to discuss here these are the basic flutter things and uh, this is the entire code for this rounded elevated button correct. So I'm not going to discuss uh, deep about this file because these are basic flutter, uh, flutter concepts fine. Now let me move to this file once again and in this rounded elevated button you can see I have passed this on pressed and in the child text I have passed the button text and in the width I have passed 150 fine. So this is how I have created the empty failure no internet view whenever this view will be required I will simply use this. So this is how we create the empty failure no internet view. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching.